I think that it's also time that we need to rehabilitate hip hop. Uh, wherever I go, now sometimes it's corporate meetings, sometimes it's cultural meetings. And while I'm going there, you know, and people see that I have a little bit of silver in my beard and stuff. You know, so they look at me and they're like, so what are you doing? And when I'm telling them, well, I'm, I'm in hip hop. They're going to be hey, hip hop, hip hop. <laughs> You know, and they think it's something funny and that it's just the youth culture. They don't understand that hip-hop has actually changed, changed this planet. Um, in my opinion, the United States, they wouldn't have a black American president right now if it wasn't for hip-hop. Um, the whole world wouldn't be together as we are right now, globally speaking, if it wasn't for hip-hop. Uh, hip-hop has saved so many people's life. When we're talking about the the conflict or when we're talking about how Europe is getting stirred up with, with all the immigrants right now, right? How Europe is getting stirred up with all the, the, the refugees and so on and on and how they think that it's such a big problem. Mm. I remember like in the early 90s how people were talking about the problems we had in Berlin with Turkish and Arabs and stuff. I never saw a problem. It never appeared and when I brought those social workers to my classes or to my practice they understood that this is something you know that, that everybody could be happy with. You develop, you develop identity through hip hop. You develop mm -hmm. a perspective because you realize, like, like, or, or you develop, you develop much faster knowledge yourself. And uh, so, yeah, uh, with all the benefits we had from hip hop, all we see in the media is gangster rap, graffiti, and vandalism. You know, like they don't show the nice pieces. Mm. They don't show the intelligent rap. You know, all they want to show is what <laughs> you know what we see, and it's terrible. So yeah. I think that is this is part of the rehabilitation as well. So right. people see that the scene is really mature. It's always been mature, mature, but of course with us like being the well, I mean, I can't see, I can't really consider myself first generation, but I'm first <laughs> generation in Europe. You know, like with being that said and looking at it in that in that way, then you know people got to realize like. We're going down like looking at history for more than 30 years. Mm -hmm. 30, 35, almost 40 years. 